Hello, I'm Gary Gibbons here to explore with you the granular oscillator features in Padshot 2. In this video, I will show you how to create a preset using short grains. Let's get started. I have the Padshot 2 default preset loaded up, and at the waveform display window, you can see on the right upper corner, pure sign is the default sample. I'm going to quickly select the multipulse sample. All right, I want to point out that Padshop 2 has a granular oscillator and a spectral oscillator. This is the place to switch between them. When I click the switch oscillator type button, the waveform display turns green. That signifies that we have switched to the spectral oscillator type. And when I click the switch oscillator type button again, the icon changes and the waveform display window turns back to red to signify that we are back to the granular oscillator. Now let's have some fun and create a preset together using short grains. First, play a note to hear what a single stream of grain sounds like. Okay, that was easy. Now at duration, this parameter is straightforward. What the grain duration does, it determines the pitch of the sound. So with a duration setting of one, and the duration key follow here set to a value of 100%, the sound plays back at the pitch that you play on your keyboard, like this. All right, now if we set the duration value from one to two, the pitch drops by one octave, just like this. This is because the grain duration is now twice as long. So, if we change the grain duration setting to a longer value, more of the pitch of the sound is determined by the pitch of the original sample. Now, let's have a listen to a duration setting from one, two, and four. All right, let's move along. For the next example, let's change the duration value back to one and move to the duration key follow parameters here. So let's say that we want to apply the same volume modulation to each key on the keyboard. To do this, we would need to set the key follow to 0%. This is what it sounds like. Okay, cool. Now let's gradually turn the key follow parameters back to 100% while playing C2 and C3. Nice. Now if we want to change the direction of the pitch on the keyboard, all we need to do is change the duration key follow value to a negative amount, just like this. Okay, next, I'm going to show you the shape parameter and adjust the settings while playing some notes. Okay, cool. Here, the shape of the grains determines the amplitude of the portion of the sample that is playback within the grain. So, when you are programming your presets, make sure you don't forget the shape option. Okay. Now I'm going to dive into the format parameter in the pitch section. So when programming with short durations, I have found that changing the format settings can be a great way to manipulate grains. So when we increase or decrease the parameter, you will hear that the format in the spectrum moves up if the value is increased. or down if the value is decreased. Okay, now I'm going to set the value to minus 12 semitones and have a look at the length parameter. The length parameter has an effect similar to the format parameter. By decreasing the length value, the grain is shortened, but the period at which the grains repeat stays the same. 
So only the spectrum of the sound changes, but not its pitch. Now I'm going to change the length value to 70% and show you the position parameter. This is where you can set the playback position manually. Let's change the setting to 50% to make the position start time in the middle of the sample here. Coolio. Now let's have a look at the number of grains parameter. This function is also very straightforward. When the number of grains values are changed, it determines the amount of grain streams. Easy enough, right? So our value is currently at one grain. Let's change the number of grains to two. Now that the number of grains are set to a value of two, the octave has raised because both of these grain streams are now playing over top of each other in the same location of the sample. So let's say we don't want this. At the position spread parameter, we can change the playback positions of the grains. I want to point out that this function works only if the number of grains is set to a value higher than 1. So, for example, let's turn the number of grains to 1 again. See here? The option turns off. And when we change back to 2 grains, it turns back on. OK, great. I'm going to set the spread value to 70.8% and next show you the duration spread parameter. So when the duration spread amount is changed, each grain is played with a different duration. Let's change the value so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, a setting of 100% corresponds to twice the original duration. Now a setting of minus 100% is half of the original duration. So if we set the value to let's say 18% or so, the sound starts to have a detuned effect. All right, nice. Okay, that was fun. I hope that you have enjoyed learning all the parameters to program a preset using short grains. Next, all we need to do is adjust the filter and envelope settings, then save our sound as a preset. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video tutorial. Catch you later. Cheers.